No, no, no. Sorry. Luma Starbits. I like this place. I, 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 I like. It, it's. I like how peaceful this this uh, galaxy is. Just nice and uh, yeah. serene, I guess you could say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Find the key. Find the key. Grab the keys. Grab the coin. <laughs> or the platforms. I love these. <laughs> Wait to the finish. <laughs> I love these little pingus. Yeah, it just again. I, I do I, again. I do think overall Galaxy One does atmosphere better, but like Galaxy Two does have its moments. <laughs> like just yeah, not. Yeah, I, not not every, not every song needs to be like like super energetic or whatever. Like I think it's nice to just have those slow moments. Yeah. There you go. You broke yeah. it. We did it. We saved the world. Hero Klongo saves the world. Yay! <laughs> ah, damn it! The game crashed again. <laughs> I can't believe yeah. they actually did that. Like that's actually a thing. It's intentional. <laughs> yeah, there's one thing I can say about nuts and bolts. I I I like that they followed up on that plot point from Tui. <laughs> like he I, he actually became a game de game developer. <laughs> like good for him. Yeah. Time for you to make games. I should make stupid video games or whatever he says. <laughs> what? Yeah, he says something like that in the end of 2 eh? Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, right, that. <laughs> Nothing Boss is a weird game. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Well, from what, from what I've gathered, it's a good game, but not a good banjo game. I... F yeah, I mean, it, I just... Uh... I think that I think uh, my my problem with that game is the the fact that, like it kind of gets a bit exhausting. Like I, I feel like, I feel like the the challenges aren't diverse enough. Like it kind it basically boils down to do a race, go through, play Super Mario 64 essentially, or move some blocks around it. Like it it, it kind of just gets. I I don't know if I want to say dull, but after a while, like you kind of seen everything. Man, yeah, I guess Monoton. It's the kind of game where, like, you don't marathon it. Like, it just... Like, you'll drive yourself insane. And it, it, it doesn't help that, like, the game is very hard to uh, 100%, which I did. So... Yeah, have fun. <laughs> I remember... That game has an equivalent to the um, Sorcerer of Peril, and it's infinitely harder than the one in Tui. It, and it, it's just... It made me want to kill myself. <laughs> Oh wait, are we talking about nuts and bolts? Yeah, nuts and bolts. Because the, yeah, the, the one in two is still is, is all, like uh, on its own is pretty challenging, but the one in nuts and bolts is like ludicrous. <laughs> For no reason. Yeah. Uh, I guess it helps that it's like what well, I think it's like the last main world, but still. Also, you gotta love the uh, um, Mario logic—just random blocks of water in space. Yeah, nothing new. Yeah. yeah. If, it's, if, if, if this was Donkey Kong Country Returns, they'd come up with a reason for why it's like that. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I thought about this, um, not actually, not recently, but in the past, like, year or so. Um, I see, I see, okay, so I see Donkey Kong, the Donkey Kong series as, like, grounded, like, grounded cartoon logic, and then I see Mario as, like, the in-between of that and, like, the Rayman universe, where, like, Rayman is just absolutely bonkers insane, whereas Mario, I'd say, is not to that level, but it's also not to the level of Donkey Kong either, so it's, like, a weird, like, it's kind of like a middle ground in terms of, like, weirdness. Hmm. 
I feel I, I feel like this would be a topic for Scrappy. So I, I when he isn't eating or whatever, I want to know what he has to say about this. Ow, no. Oh, apparently I got a spam call on my phone. <laughs> nice. Yes, stop! Bear Mario! Get out of there! <laughs> thank Hi. you. Th thanks, thanks, Captain Toad. Do you have anything? Do you, do you have something to add to the topic, Trappy? Or you... My French fries are very good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm hungry. God. I will be with you all momentarily. Okay. <laughs> the red robin fries, you said? Correct. Uh, you, you, you lucky bastard right now. <laughs> <Looks Yeah. good. laughs> wow. I mean, we sh there, there isn't much left of the world, so we should be done soon. Okay. Like, ne next session is going to be interesting because that's when comets are going to show up, so I don't know how things are going to pan out at that point. Uh, terribly. Wait, how do I... Wait, do I need to kill... I think I need to kill the enemies. Yeah, I, I'd say, like, World 3 is when the the game really starts to pick up, because, like, right I remember right away, like, the comets, like, pull no punches, really. Like, the, some of them are, like, definitely easier than others, but uh, it, de it definitely doesn't start out friendly, I can say that much. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Being silly. You're just drilling. Drilling. Dun 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 dun. Drill. 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 I don't think uh, we. I probably asked Scrappy and Jason this in Galaxy One, but uh, uh, if I haven't, I guess it applies to you two as well, but. Uh, I was gonna say to uh, ask Xavier specifically. Do you have a favorite Mario power up or power ups? I guess if you want to make it easier. Um. Hmm. Well, um, I like I I like the cape feather in Mario from Mario World. I also like um, I also like um the carrot from Mario Lands Two. That those are good. Those are both good ones. Hmm. All right. The, all right. The, the rabbit carrot. Yeah, from Mario Land Two. Um. What else? Oh yeah, I mean, the cloud, I, the, the cloud, the cloud flower from this game. Mm -hmm. That's definitely up there. Oh, uh, what else is a good power? Oh yeah, the the hammer suit. That's a from Mario Three. That's a good one. Ah oh, yes. I uh... and what? Uh, yeah, um, the like the the the, the Tanuki suit, specifically from Mario Three, not from Three D World, because you know you could turn into a, because you could fly and turn into a stone. Yeah. You can only do that in the 3D land in the suit secret worlds, I think. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Pingu. Yee. Uh, what's what else is another good power up? Um... Oh boy, lunch. <laughs> lunch. I, um. The wing, like the wing cap in Mario 64, is also pretty good when you when you know when you get a good rhythm going for that one. Yeah, I, I'd say the wing cap in Mario 64 is more. Uh, like an eagle. <laughs> it's more. Uh, I don't know if I. I, I uh, been been. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't know if I'd say it's more rewarding than the cape feather because like, it is. But like it, I definitely. It's probably my favorite flying power up in a 3D game. Hmm. But in terms of 64, though, I'd probably go with Metal Mario just because. You know, I said this before, but I just love the sense of power. Like, you just, like, storm through enemies with that thing. Apparently, Nintendo loves it enough to make it a character. Yeah, I, I don't get yeah. that. Like, to me, Metal Mario is a power up. He's not a different character. It makes. That makes no oh, sense. Oh, 
You know what? You know what? One of my favorite things is in Mario Golf Told Stool Tour. They have Bowser Jr. and Shadow Mario as unlockable characters. What? <laughs> They're separate characters. God. Oh yeah. One thing I the, the like something that I um I've only really noticed recently is something that you just start noticing between games. But yeah, Galaxy Two doesn't really use pool stars that much. Like Galaxy One did it like all the time, but this game is extremely sparing with it. Yeah. Oh, also Cooper Road. Oh yeah. yeah. And also, nice. I was trying to get the I, do, I know I remember you saying you actually don't like this remix that much. Oh, uh, uh, okay, yeah, I was, I'm glad you brought that up, because... I think, if you listen to it on its own, I think it's fine. But I feel like, like, in game, I feel like it kind of missed the, the, uh... At, the, the atmosphere of Cooper's Road, because... What, what I've always liked about the, this theme, 64, Galaxy, and even... Even the, like, the, the re remix in, like, the Olympic Games is that it just has this really foreboding atmosphere to it and it just like i don't know it just gives you like this spooky like foreboding atmosphere it's like you're going up to bowser's like serious business kind of time and yeah. it, it doesn't over it, it doesn't overdo it like it's not yet overly epic and like over the top or whatever because i feel like that's what this remix is like again it, it's fine on this if you listen to it on its own it's fine but, what do, you, what do you say first? And the song by itself, there's nothing inherently wrong with it. Yeah, but like, it's... I, I feel like it kind of misses the point, because I feel like, yeah, no, Galaxy 1, it feels like a spacey version of the 64 one. Whereas this yeah. this one is just going like, let's go overly, like, overly epic and like, orchestrated and uh, like, choir and all that other stuff, which... Um, I'm usually bubble, like... In a bubble, it's fine, right? Wait, what? Like, by its- like, like... No, I, I get what you mean, though, cause yeah. like... Cause, yeah, cause, we're getting the concept. Yeah. Yeah, cause yeah. I've always, like... Well, I always, like, think of the vocal parts of this song in particular. Right. Cause, yeah, like... I just- but that's just, like, over a while, it took me a while to really, like, catch how kind of bombastic Oh. <clears throat> yeah, cause I don't- I don't think this song works as being bombastic. Like, I feel like that's missing the point. Like, again, it's like, I, I, feel, yeah, I feel like it's supposed to be, like, you're, yeah, you're, go, you're trudging through, like, a difficult obstacle course to get to the villain. It's, it's supposed to be, like, you know, serious business time, like I, I've been saying. Like, it, it's, I don't know, I, th this, this theme just doesn't, this remix just doesn't really do it for me. And how did I not die? <laughs> uh, magic. I will say this, though. I love the... power of Nintendo money. I will say this, though. Uh, I... While I may not be a biggest, the biggest fan of this remix, I love the Bowser levels in this game. Like, I think they're some of the best in the series. Like, they're decently ch- oh, I I'd say they're, prob they're probably some of the most challenging. They do a lot of fun things with, like, gravity and level design and yeah, like this. obstacles and all that stuff. And it's, uh, yeah. It's really just the music that I'm not the biggest fan of. Yeah. That is totally fair. I will now call the Nintendo Ninjas. Because <laughs> <laughs> your opinion is wrong, because Mario says so. <laughs> I, um... And no one goes against Mario. No one. <laughs> yeah, he's just like... <laughs> what? Wait. Why? Why do you think Luigi only has three games? <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, what does everyone else have to say about this remix? Um, I think you pretty much said what I you pretty much said what I was what I was thinking because I honestly mm. feel I honestly feel the same way because like this remix is this remix is good on its own but yeah the one from Galaxy One is better. Right. I think it's as well the like I only but yeah definitely. Bits that was her better. The thing is as well, like yeah. like you can make this theme epic and like have it still have the like the the right tone because I I think that's exactly what the the Olympic Games do. Like I still Cross feel off, I mean, it feel a bit yeah. more like fun at the same time. Yeah, like I I still feel it, like it's more like bombastic and like, <laughs> like 
Oh, oh hi. Hi, me. Test? Hello! Okay, no, I was gonna say, like... I'm Mario! I'm Mario! How are you? It, like, it's more, it's more bombastic and all that, but I still, I still get the, like, the same, like, like, atmosphere kind of feeling from, like, 64 Galaxy's version, so... You can make this theme, like, epic sounding, but, like, still have, like, that same feel. Yeah, I'm like, a, like, a, and, and and also, also, you also have to remember that this is this is the Sega music team we're, we're talking about when this they're concept. gods. They know what, they're, yeah, they know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving giving Sega the a Mario music was like wow. Yeah. Uh, what, 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 oh, okay, first off, uh, someone want to do Bowser voice? Oh, I was doing this right. <laughs> <laughs> you showed up. Look at you run around like a little boy on a pl t puny planetoid. No, it isn't, beauty. My massive dick. My wow. massive new power. <laughs> the power to fight you like a space pancake. I do. I had a feeling you were gonna do that because wow. I've seen you. <laughs> oh, you know what? My my dick's bigger than your dick. Are you sure about that? Yes. So, um... Just ask me Bows, Bows, what you would never do. hey all. <laughs> I was I will say this, uh, like, the, like the, sto the story is done better in the first game, but one thing I do like more in this one is the fact, like, it feels like there's, like, a bit more of a a partnership going on between Mario and the, like, the baby Luma, which I appreciate. Yeah. Like, it, it's basically a non-factor in Galaxy 1. It's just the Luma gives you your spin, that's it, and then you don't really... See anything else happen beyond that? Nice. You went right through his head. You wow. saw that, right? Wait, what? You went right through his head. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate that they actually did something with the Luma in this one. Well, what, uh, well it's not much, but like, it's like actually, he's actually a character. <laughs> yeah. Um. No. Yeah. Uh, do you Do you have any? I, I feel like Scrappy. You feel feel like he probably has something to say about the music. Took you long enough. <laughs> like, he's done. I can't even say anything now. <laughs> I respectfully disagree. Understand what you're going for, but I respectfully disagree, and I'm going to get some French fries. That's what I was going to say, but then you got cat on talking. <laughs> okay, I'll keep talking. There was so much happening at, happening at once. I'm sorry. Um. So you, you, so you, would you like? Would you say? Would you say you prefer this uh, over the Galaxy Galaxy One theme then? I, I didn't say that. I just or said I just, respectfully disagree. Or you just like the theme? I just. You can't screw up Cooper's Road. It sounds good any in any form. I'm not, I'm not picky about this stuff. Fair enough. <laughs> Anyways, like Bowser's dead. <clears throat> I mean, my socialization with the Galaxy games just means that I associate everything. Oh, well, someone took the mini mushroom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so my socialization, with the, my socialization with the Galaxy games means that I. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Yeah, wait. It's too scrappy. Okay, you can finish. Go ahead. So, because of my kind of warped history of the Galaxy games, I just assume every track in these two titles was hyper bombastic. Well, the shrug. And that's true to an extent, but there's obviously there's nuance to this. Right, so, yeah. I, 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 do I do think, like, the Galaxy games, like, it definitely goes, like, for a um, go big or go home kind of style of the orchestra, but it does have its, like, quieter moments. Like, Stuff like Space Junk in the first game, or um, uh, Cosmic Cove, I think it was. I've already forgotten the name of the level. But like the water level we just did is uh, an example of like just a slower piece of music and like more, going for a more atmospheric approach. Um, but yeah, over, like overall though, like the, these ga these two games in particular go for a more like <laughs> a big a big band like orchestra approach, which. I think and they had poison yeah, discourse yeah. on Mario music for the next fifteen years. Yeah, I think for the most Great part. Uh, yeah, I think for the most part works. I will continue the dialogue in a second. I I just want to get this out before I get more Bowser dialogue. Um, like I, I think it works with these two games in particular because like space adventure and you expect, like you know, 
big, the big, the big guns for something like this. Um, and uh, I think I think they, you know, I think they did it pretty well. Anyways, moving on. Ugh, now I remember why you're my arch nemesis. It's so annoyingly hard to squish. <laughs> Good thing I win anyway. Did it count? <laughs> 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 so I'm playing my map plan to move on to the next phase. Tough luck, Mario. You imagine like oh, that's, that's it. No more. No, that's it. I'm not. I'm not treating you to cat into a cafe anymore. <laughs> uh, you imagine like since he's like the size of Galaxy One, the you imagine if it's like yeah, let's do the Galaxy One fight now. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, that didn't count. Best two out of three. We gotta complete the set. <laughs> hey, run, hey, run, run it back. Yeah. How's that not John's? <laughs> now I, okay, now I just have this image of like, at the end of the game, spoil, spoilers for like, 13 year old game, um, like Bowser just gets like, put, like sent into a black hole or whatever. I just have this image of Bowser just like, peeking his head out of the black hole and say, like, can we do that again? That didn't count. <laughs> God. Yeah. Oh, Jason, look at what I posted in like the Velvet Room chat. Oh boy, I can't wait to see this. Oh right, who oh right, your lover, uh Xavier. Oh right. Oh right. Well, well how about that? You fought the giant monster and he turned and ran he turned tail and ran off, right? Well then, let's go after him. With the power of this Grand Star, we can keep going through time and space, no problem! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, Sorry, I saw a picture. <laughs> so, it sounds like your special one is still with that monster, eh? Well, let's not sit around getting older. Let's get going, Captain! I I'm not sure how I feel about Lubba saying special one. That always just felt like a Rosalina Ro thing. Yeah. That felt like something Rosalina would say specifically, not Lubba. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that, that, see, it's, it seems more fitting for Rosalina than Lubba. Given what we know about this game's framing device, that might be intentional. Maybe. Also, I just want to <clears throat> soak this in real quick, because I, I love like this this world theme and the background and everything. Yeah. Whoa! An entirely new world! Looks like the path split up's ahead. So Imagine having this music that Lava's like, voice acted in the game proper. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't look at me! The captain makes the choices, am I right? Yeah, I just... Before we start... The inner machination of all which is mine is an enigma. I, <laughs> yeah, before we stop, I just, I just want to stay quiet for a little bit and just have this play, because this is beautiful. No, I'm just gonna get some fries. <laughs> this has been Super Mario Galaxy 2 ASMR. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's, let's get back into the ship and take a look at the stars while we're at it. Oh man. I love this. Alright, let's get back. Let's zoom into the ship first. He's taking his time, clearly. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just letting it play out. Okay, that's enough. Right, I, I, I had to. Yeah, okay, let's start with this time. I, I, I had to let that play out because it's so beautiful. Look at this. Like, I, I know it's like these are like. Oh, also, the drums are picked up. Yep. Like, I know this is like Wii graphics and all that, but like, man, I, I just. I love this. <laughs> like, I, like, imagining this game like fully remade with like, like HD graphics just. I can only imagine what this would look like. Uh, where, where, uh, where you want me to check? We already did it, but let's look off that since the music's new. Wait, what'd you say? The music's technically new now. Oh, oh! Oh, yeah, you, you just yeah, want to... Another, another, another layer of instruments got added. Right, okay. Um, yeah, so... I, yeah, I don't... I have topics I want to talk about next time. I wanted to wait until at least World 3, because... 
there's some big things I want to address. Um, so yes, yeah. Harry, we, yes, Harry, we went over this. That he will marry you. What I? Uh, yeah, I mean he will. <laughs> See you guys next Where's time. Luigi? I'm, Hi, I, everybody. I'm not even gonna dignify any of this with a, with a response by. 